Recording in progress.
every person therefore either accepts or rejects God. Oh, that's true. Don't argue with God. All right. All right. When the day comes for God to judge your response to him, no excuse will be accepted. Well, you know, we are very thankful that we serve a sovereign God. Mm -hmm. You know, God is holy. Yes, he is. So he expects us to be holy. Yeah, yeah. Revelation 1 and 8 states, I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending says the Lord. Which is and which was and which is to come the Almighty. The Lord God himself is the beginning and the end of all things. God the Father is the eternal Lord and ruler of the past, present, and future. Do you feel God loves you? Or do you know that he loves you? All right. You know, that is a question. Yeah. Do you obey God? Psalms 111 and 10 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh -huh. All those who practice it have a good understanding. Right. A life of wisdom ultimately results in the praise of God. We know we should praise God for our life. Let us respect and appreciate God who he is. Showing reverence mm -hmm. and awe towards him. All right. You know, he is an awesome God. Yeah. Reverence. You know, reverence is a deep respect mm -hmm. yeah. and honor. Right. But we should do likewise because we live not for ourselves, but we was created to serve God. Leviticus 19 and 30. Ye shall keep my Sabbath mm -hmm. and reverence my sanctuary. All right, all right. Uh -huh. all right. You know, we reverence God, yeah. but we also reverence what we worship at. All right, all right. I am the Lord. God is beyond compare. Uh -huh. God is the infinite being mm -hmm. who has always been and who was created by no one. It is clear that God created all life. Yes. This shows not only God's authority over humanity, yeah. but his deep love for all people. Mm -hmm. all right. yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord today. Proverbs 3 and 6. Yeah. In all thy ways acknowledge him, yeah. and he should direct thy path. All right. All right. He didn't need to create the universe. He chose to create it. All right. yeah. Why not? Because God is love. Yeah. This expressions of love toward us is because we are valuable in his eyes. Right. The Bible tells us who God is. He reveals God's personality, yeah. his character, yeah. and his plan for us. It also reveals God's deepest desire to relate to and fellowship with us. God took the ultimate step to fellowship with us through his son, Jesus Christ. Yes, he did. The next uh, section is acknowledge his glory by your life. That's all right. When we reflect on how thoroughly God has pardoned us yes, Lord. through the years, my God, God has pardoned us. Yes, yes. You know, we were like a wretch undone, but now we live. Yes, yes. We will start to acknowledge God in our ways. The more we love God, the better we can understand His will. That's true. Know what acknowledge means is to know or recognize. Mm -hmm. We know we recognize who God is, yeah. or we wouldn't be here. That's right. 
In the context of Proverbs 3 and 6, this means understanding all his rules uh -huh. and accepting that he is the final judge of our life. Hebrews 12 and 2, mm -hmm. looking up to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, uh -huh. who for the joy that has set before him endured the cross, uh -huh. despising the shame, uh -huh. and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Uh -huh. You know, God is good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. To run the race that God has set before us, we must be also strip off the excess weight mm -hmm. that slows us down. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's true. Access weight. Uh -huh. You know what the access weight is. Uh -huh. You know, when you have friends, make sure you find the right friends. Uh -huh. Make sure that their mind is on the right path. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're talking. You know, when you go out and buy things, just don't buy things accessibly that you don't need. Yeah. You know, understand that just put away all that is not on God. Yeah. And put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. Acknowledge your dream, your death, and Christ's life in you. Yeah, yeah. In short, your identity in Christ. That's what it's talking about. Galatians 2 and 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yeah. Yet not I, mm -hmm. but Christ liveth in me. Yeah. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave me himself for me. When we are crucified with Christ, it means that we are surrendered to Jesus then we will live a life of surrender yeah. to the author of life. Yeah. God is good. Yeah. God is awesome. Yeah. He is the almighty. Yeah. He created us. Yeah. Aren't you glad that you know him? Yeah. Because Jesus came back to life. Yeah. He now lives in us yes, by the Holy Spirit. Filling up all the empty places yeah. that, that we have given to him, which all our old accomplishments could not really fill. You know, when we was in the world, our life wasn't complete. But thank God that we know Jesus. that we have given to him, which is our old accomplishment, that's what I was talking about, All right. could not really fill that empty void. <laughs> you know, Jesus, you know, just, Jesus helped me. You know, this happens when we first believe in Jesus, but we must continue to deny our sinful desires and take up our cross daily. Right. Luke 9, verse 23 through 27. Mm -hmm. If any man will come after me, mm -hmm. let him deny himself mm -hmm. and take up his cross daily mm -hmm. and follow me. Mm -hmm. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Mm -hmm. But whosoever lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Verse 25, for what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed. And when he shall come in his own glory and his fathers and of the holy angels, Verse 27, but I tell you a truth. There be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God. You know, Jesus in his young age was a wise youth. 
than a wise savior. You know, he lived a perfect life, then he died on the cross and rose again to save us and make a God's wise plan of eternal life available to us. You know, what would we be today if Jesus didn't die for us? Just think about it. What kind of a life will we be living? Acknowledge God. Acknowledge the Son of Jesus. And also acknowledge the Holy Spirit. You know, we should all be glad that we are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, God has done so many things for us, so, you know, we have to acknowledge Him all of our days, our lives. You know, when we, when He wakes us up in the morning, you know, it's a, it's a brand new day. It's, you know, that God has allowed us to live. You know, if anybody here doesn't know Jesus for themselves, you know, now is the time. Just get this, you know, give yourself up to God. Yes. You know, God has always been waiting with both arms, just waiting for us. That's what happened to us. That's why we are still in the house of worship. We respect God. And I just want to thank y'all for being attentive. What a wonderful word today. Amen. 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 Trust in the Lord. Not in anything else of what you think or how you feel. But trust in the Lord with all thine heart. In other words, stop playing. Be real about it. Put your heart in. Be sensitive, amen, to the things of God. Is that what he's telling us? Trust in the Lord with what? All your heart. Put everything you have, what, into it. Are you truly committed to God today? All right. Or are you just playing? Is he priority one on your list? Or, or amen, are he way down, amen, your priority list? Amen. You think about him only when you need something in your life. But is he part of your life when you wake up in the morning? You just thank him for all that he's done. And then he said, lean not to your own understanding. Too many weak, lean Christians in the world today. Amen. We lean over and dip in a little of this or dip into a little of that. Amen. But we, he said, lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge him what? In everything what that you do. Everything that we do in life, we accomplish because of the grace and blessings of God. You're not a self-made man, nor a self-made woman. God made you, and God blesses you when what? You are obedient to him. Amen. You have not, because you ask not. And when you ask, you ask for a mist, not according to what? His word. If you're here today and don't know Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sin, will you come by this number? Is being rendered. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings. As an eagle, yeah. 